welcome back to a complicated melody. So I'm going to do my May hit and misses. I don't have any hit misses this time. I just have all hits. And these are all great products that I've used this month that I really love. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the Sonia Kashuk Brightening Powder. Um, I love this. It is just a soft, translucent powder. It has a bit of shimmer to it. And I use it under the eye. It's a great product to kind of brighten up your under eye area. And so I really love this. Next is the Sonia Kashuk um, Blush, Cream Blush in Rosy. This is such a pretty color and it's a bit of a coral color, but I use it almost daily. Um, just my everyday look, it just gives me kind of rosy cheeks and I love cream blushes because they blend very well and it kind of looks like it's coming from within as opposed to like sitting on your cheeks. And so I really love that about cream blushes and that's a really great color. Also, this e.l.f. Tone Corrector um, Concealer, I use this under my eye as well. It's uh, a, a great formula. It doesn't crease. It blends very well. And um, it's only a dollar. So you really can't beat that. It's a great concealer. I really do recommend this one. Um, I would say the only thing is that there's kind of a lack of shades in store at Target for sure. There's only a couple of them. But they blend very well. So this is actually the darkest of them. It's called Spice. And so uh, depending on your skin tone, uh, I can't say there there's a whole lot in the spectrum, but they may blend to match your skin tone. But I do love it, and for a dollar you can't beat it. So the next thing I'll show you is the um, Lush Lip um, Scrub. This one is in bubblegum, and it smells like bubblegum candy. It smells so good. Everything at Lush smells good, and it's crazy that all the stuff they have, it just makes you want it all. But the lip scrub is um, fairly inexpensive. It's not that bad. It's about $8 or $9. And you get a, a quite a bit in this jar. And it's sugar and a little oil. The only thing is that the oil kind of sits in the bottom. So you kind of have to get in there to get the oil. But it leaves your lips like squeaky clean. And it actually tastes pretty good. It doesn't taste bad or anything. It's just sugar. Um, I wouldn't say eat it, but it's not going to kill you. And, um, you know, you just scrub it on there and, oh, it just makes it so, uh, just squeaky clean. It's crazy. Love it. On to the eye products. So I went to MAC and picked up two of the eyeshadows from the To The Beach collection. This one is called Shimmer Moss. It's kind of like a light turquoise color. It's super pigmented. Gorgeous color. And swatched on my hand um, it's really pretty color I wasn't actually gonna get it at first until I saw it in the store and fell in love with it and I had to have it I actually went for this color sweet and punchy it's what I have on my eyes now and there's a tutorial for this that you can put a link somewhere up here and you can look at that and so this is the um, it's like a yellowy green color super pretty very pigmented So there it is, swatched on my hand. I love this color, it's so pretty. And these were actually the first eyeshadows from MAC that I've ever purchased. I have other products from MAC, no eyeshadows. I'm really happy that I got them, gorgeous colors. And I, I know the Sweet and Punchy is limited. I don't know if Shimmer Moss is uh, limited or not, but they're both really great colors. I believe I showed this one in a haul before, but it's the NYX um, 10 eyeshadow palette runway collection deals and this one is the caviar champagne and caviars collection and I really love this one it's all neutral colors but this is something that you can just use every day um, I love this collection I use it all the time um, for my daytime looks for work and whatnot it's a great just neutral palette I would recommend this one um, if you just need a good you know natural palette so the other palettes that I wanted to show you are the Color Icon palettes from Wet n Wild. Uh, and I know you're thinking, Wet n Wild? Like, I haven't used Wet n Wild since I was, like, in high school. And maybe you're in high school now. But when I was in high school, Wet n Wild was, like, the $2. And they still have stuff that's, like, $2 and $3. 
but it was like your first makeup that you ever bought and then you graduated on to your Max and Smashbox and all those well they have these color icon palettes that are super pigmented They're like five dollars this one really got me because it has like a purplish color plum color and I love plums so this is a really great value I think just in general they're five dollars which is not bad for six eyeshadows um and I also have this one called Vanity. This one's called Lust. That's with the plum. And this one's called Vanity. And so this one has like the browns and golds. For a pigment, the Beauty from the Earth Karma pigment, I've used this in a tutorial. I just love this color. It's so pretty, purpley, pink goodness. I just love it and I'll swatch it for you. Ooh, see that purpley so so pretty um i showed this one in a haul video this is the cover girl liquid lime blast i couldn't find anything about this when i purchased them and um now they're starting to get out but i really think i was like the first person ever in life to buy this at this particular Rite Aid that I got it from like it was brand spanking new probably had put it out that day and I snagged them buy one get one free and this one is the blue I have the green purple and gray as well but this blue oh my god it gives me life how gorgeous that is this is like my new favorite nail polish it's what I have on now so you can see that this one is called pandemonium pink from OPI um, I got this at Ulta and it's in like the Tokyo collection and it's like a pale pink with a purple tone to it. I love this color. This is my new favorite color. I wear it all the time. This is also a really cool color that I picked up for the summer. It's from Pure Ice which is at Walmart. These are two dollars. This is super duper pigmented. I have a picture that I'll show you where I wore this. You see how pigmented that is? great pigmentation I wore this in the Mac store and the girl was like oh my god that color is so great and I was like two dollars Walmart pure ice love these things to death they have like glitter ones they have so many colors now I will say I change my nail polish every other day so chipping it probably it did chip all I think all nail polishes chip at this point in life I really I have never found anything that does not chip at all the only brand that doesn't ship as much that I have is Ulta. But other than that, they all ship. It's just a fact of life. But I changed my nail polish so much that it really doesn't matter. This is the CJ Vite. I don't know how you say that. I put this in the haul video, I believe, because it was 50% off at CVS. I'm not sure they sell 50% off because it's pretty pricey. It's like $9.99 at CVS. But when I tell you that it dries your nails so fast almost instantly it's really crazy it has like an industrial strength smell so whatever it is it's pretty strong but it works so this is a really great little travel brush kit in from Inco tools that I got from Ulta and I needed kind of some brushes to put in my purse I got some itty bitty mini kabuki brush and this one is uh, supposed to be like a mineral brush, but I'm pretty sure, I, you know, I use it for like blush and stuff. I use this one for my face. And then I can just clean it and um, disinfect it, and then I don't have to worry about it anymore. And, or I don't have to throw it away like a sponge. You can't really disinfect it like you can a brush. And then two little eyeshadow brushes. Um, and this one is kind of like a soft blending brush. So great little to go. They're really a nice size. They came in this little, you know earth friendly pack that it comes in and um, so you know the eco tools are you know all good for the earth doing my part and so all natural stuff and so it comes in a little bag and it fits right in my little travel to go um, make a bag that's in my purse those are my May hits I hope you saw something you like if you have something as well and you want to rave about it put a drop a comment down there or whatever you can just say hi if you want I don't know but anyways so thanks for watching you guys have a great one and I'll see you next time